He's taught me so much about honesty, about preparation, um, courage, loyalty. I could go on, but um, you know, like it's pretty amazing how he's been able to do that for me. And so uh, I just hope tonight that you really pay very close attention because I guarantee you there's something he can teach you. And so with that being said, I'd like to welcome my grandfather, Don Dasky, 61 graduate and uh, CEO and president of Dasky Incorporated. <laughs> Good luck, partner. <laughs> Boy, is that awesome. Oh my gosh. The, thanks, John, and thanks for being here and being the kind of person you are. Some of you may say, well, how did Don get from a liberal arts school of DePaul to being involved in a trucking company? Well, this is my career path. Paper route, ice cream wagon, drive-in restaurants, CPA, IBM, apartments, telecom, trucking. Very logical, right? It all fits together. <laughs> So I'm what you call a serial entrepreneur. I'm a builder, and a builder of companies, builder of people, and not specialized in any one thing, which is kind of like DePaul. DePaul is, you learn a lot about a lot of different subjects without an expertise in, in one particular. But that's how it started out in that, that sequence. And you could also look at that and say, well, gosh, Don can't even keep a job. But, so what does it take to be successful, in my view? Education, phenomenal start right here. Experience, you know, you'll get that on the job for you students. Skills, relationships, you build relationships here which will carry all your life. But most important of all those things is passion. I'm passionate about what I do and passion overshadows all those other things. If you're passionate about your job, you will do better, you will enjoy it, you'll learn more. And that's why I think that's so darn important. My philosophy is to invest in people. People make the difference. Anybody can buy trucks and trailers and terminals, but people make the difference. And so I've always had that philosophy of investing in people. The idea to be the premier open deck transportation company in the country. There is no national company really focused on this niche of the trucking business. And so once I got into it, I said, well, gosh, why can't we be the best in the country all focused in this business? We call it open deck because not all of our equipment is flat in the back. Some of it is all different kinds of equipment. But we are not the kind of dry van trucks that go to Walmart and Target. That's not our business. We also don't have refrigerated equipment, that cold stuff. You know, we don't do any of that. So we're really focused on open deck trucking. So we move equipment, we move all sorts of things. You know, wind turbine blades that you'd hate to be behind on the throughway. We move them. We love them. Yeah. So anything that's big and heavy, cumbersome, you know, we move. Here's enormous mining tires that are used in the, go into the mines, uh, deep mines. So overdimensional stuff. This is a wing for a Gulf Stream jet that's manufactured in a plant outside of Dallas, and we move these wings every week to Savannah, Georgia, where the Gulf Stream jet is assembled. And so we build a special trailer for these wings. It's just kind of shrink wrap it, sit in this trailer, and we carry it across the country. We also move some very big, cumbersome stuff, you know, for, you know, for refineries and chemical plants and all sorts of super big, heavy stuff. And in total, we will move 250 million miles you know, this year. So it's turned out to be quite a good sized company. Today, we're the second largest one in North America. Started with this one company in north of Seattle just seven years ago. Now we're the second largest in the country. You know, we'll add a couple more companies to our family this year and we'll be the biggest in the country next year. This is our management team. Average age is about 51. Average years of experience in trucking is about 30 years. So we really have great people because, again, that goes back to the philosophy of investing in people. And they make the difference. Buffett has all different kinds of businesses. Geico and BNSF, which is Burlington Railroad, Dairy Queen, just totally unrelated businesses. 
all of our companies do pretty much the same thing. We all move big and heavy stuff. So that's the, the way we've taken his philosophy, which has proven to work, and just carried a step further into our company. But he also has a very lean corporate staff. I read the other day that he has just 26 people at his corporate office. So all the thousands, hundreds of thousands of people in all these companies. We have 11 people at our corporate staff, but we've got 2,600 people around the country. So it's, we're really applying his philosophy in a contrarian way to the trucking business. And we've got a who's who of customers from Boeing, Caterpillar, all of those, those kind of folks. The question is, you're lean at corporate managed, but so where is the management? Well, the management is really the operating companies, which is exactly Buffett's philosophy. He has Geico as a full management team running Geico, and Dairy Queen has a full management team running uh, Dairy Queen. We have a full management team running each one of these companies. In fact, as we've added these companies, we have not eliminated one person from any company. So it's the same people that were running it before are still running it. What other characteristics do you look for in the companies that you hire? I look for CEOs that are passionate about their people. They really care about their people. Because if they care about their people, they'll fit in our family of companies. If they don't really care and they're just, well, I'm going to be out of here in a couple of years, they're not, we don't want them. So they really have to have a deep caring for their people. And, you know, you can talk to them and you can feel that and you can feel it when you talk to their people of how much this is really a team. We want strong teams. This is a chart I'm especially proud of. In 2009, we had 30 million of revenue. 30 million. This year it'll be about 800 million, 30 million to 800 million. Next year we'll hit a billion dollars in, in revenue. There's no trucking company in the country that's ever done that, ever. So we've taken a contrarian approach, applied it to trucking, a niche of trucking, which on the surface doesn't sound very exciting, but which I'm passionate about today, and really built what will be the largest trucking company of our kind in the country. What's unique about us. Well, the name, Dasky, that nobody, not many people have that name. <laughs> and we're focused. So we can't, one thing I've learned is you can't be all things to all people. So we are very focused on this niche of flatbed, open deck trucking. So we're not other kinds of trucking, we're just focused, that's our specialty. We have a unique growth record, nobody else can match. We have phenomenal customers, we have a deep management team, and we're going to be the market leader in this very fragmented market of moving these things. Remember the philosophy, we invest in people. And the, I told the CEO of our very first company, that's why we bought their company, because of the people and because I'm investing in you, Mr. CEO. So a year ago, he sent me a picture. And the caption on the picture is, Don, thank you for investing in people. Just keep your eyes open, and if you keep learning, and you say, well, there's another learning experience. I was at, um, in public accounting, and I figured out pretty quickly after I got my CPA that I wasn't learning enough. And so I applied to IBM, and because I felt I could learn more by being involved in computers than I could in accounting. And had great eight years with IBM. So if you just keep learning and just let that take you where it takes you, and then you know, if you're doing well at that and you want to progress in that, then make that your career fine. And if something else pops up along the way, you know, go for it. Don't be afraid to go for it. The exciting thing about the path in my life, I don't regret any job I've had or what I've done, because each one I've learned something. Giving back has really been important to me. That's why I've very, been very proudly serving on the DePaul Board of Trustees for 31 years. Uh, I was one of the founders of the Management Fellows Center here, been involved in several arts organizations in Dallas and, and serving our town. So I just find giving back is, we, is, is, is really something we have to do. We just have to take time to give back for the next generation. So that's very proud to be here with our grandson. Now, why is DePaul my cause? 
Well, I came here on a rector scholarship. Are there any rector scholars in this room? Yes, quite a few. And that was why I came here. And at DePaul, you build relationships, which are really lifelong relationships. And that's relationships matter in this world. Continually work to get better, because that's what it takes. Thank you so much. It's been great to be with you.